Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be getting ourselves the transmutation tablet that you see next to us and kind of going over how EMC works. So I hope you guys are ready. So today we're going to work on getting ourselves the transmutation table. I think we should be able to get that guy before today's video is over. And I think that'll be something to strive for. So getting started, we've already gotten our clay. I think that was one of the biggest milestones that we got last episode. So let's just punch some clay. Oh, thanks everybody for sleeping. That's really nice. I didn't have to do it. So eight clay. That should be good enough, right? Um, we also need some bone mill. Now we can sieve dust for bone mill, I think. Bone mill is something that's pretty easy to get. Um, we can either make a mob farm, which I don't recommend. I mean, you could do it right now. It's not necessary, to be honest, to make a, a mob farm. Um, but you can sieve for this stuff. Over here, with a string mesh, you get a 1 in 20 uh, one in twenty percent chance of getting it. And to get dust, it's not too hard. I've already gotten gravel because I'm over here just constantly ore excavating this. And by doing so this way, I get two gravel each time. And it just makes it really easy for me to just pick that stuff up. Come down here, pick the rest of that up. All right, and then all I got to do is now line this up. Um, I don't have a wand yet. I don't think I can even make a wand yet, right? Can I make a stone wand? I can make a stone wand. Let's do that. Let's make a stone wand. All right, stone wand. There we go. I mean, that, that at least helps a little bit. Right? I mean, you can't, I can't say enough. <laughs> I mean, it helps just a little bit. That's, you know, that makes a world of difference. And that's all we got to do is just repeat this process. And then use our hammer to excavate that. That'll give us sand. And then we repeat this process. Bam. With sand. Keep doing it. And we will get everything pretty much back. And this should be turned into sand. Right, now we can take a string, our string mesh that we got, or, or last episode, and we can now sieve some dust. You can stand on this, or if you want to make it a little bit easier on yourself, you can actually make a chest. And we'll make a chest. By the way, if you notice my font's a little bit different on everything, it's because I'm using a different font. It's actually uh, a font that's within your system, and if you want to change your font, you can go into mod options, type in font, go to smooth font, and you can go into configs. And right here, you'll see a button that says font. And right here, you can go and change it to whatever you want. Whatever font you actually have installed on your computer, you can change it to, which is really nice. I'm using HP Simplified. Um, that's a font that actually comes pre-installed with Windows. So it actually looks really nice. I, I'm not complaining. I think it looks pretty good. Um, and it fits very well with Minecraft. So, um, back to the sieving dust and placing a chest on top. Uh, we may not be able to place it here because we're going to have to move this. So, let me move our sieve and place it somewhere a little bit easier to access for one thing. We're going to be using it quite a bit. So, let's place it here. Let's place our string mesh back inside. And you can place a chest on top. And what you can do is just right-click on the block... It's, it's going to make it a little bit harder because you can't actually see the process until you know you use one in your hand. But you can see we now have bone mill. Now, if you want to speed this up even faster, well, all we got to do is take a bit of wood that we have, and we're going to make more of these. Yeah, we're going to get busy. We're going to get busy with this because we need to get this done like ASAP, right? So we can get through all this and get as many as possible. Now, I'm not going to use the chest. I just wanted to show you that as an example. Definitely not going to be using the chest method because it's just... It's a it's an option that's available, but I, I don't want to use it. So. Ex Nihilo. We're going to make some sieves. Eight of, them, eight of them is perfect because that's going to be nine. This being our ninth. And then we're going to make a few string meshes. Right? Let's come over here. There they go. And let's take all that string that we have on us. And let's make some string meshes. Right? That is four. Let's 
take all this junk out of our inventory. There we go. All kinds of junk out of there. Yeah, let's continue. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so that's eight of them in here. Missing one more, which is fine. I know we have some more string. And we're just going to make one more. And that'll be all the string mesh all in one. Now what we can do is take all of our dust. And now this will actually do nine at a time. And if we stand in the middle, we'll actually collect the items. So you can see at this point, pretty much every time we sieve, we're pretty much guaranteed. Kind of guaranteed. It's a, Well, I guess it would be guaranteed. Because technically you'd only need five. Five dust would pretty much guarantee you a piece of bone mill. Um, do we have a bone mill in here already? We don't. So yeah, I'm going to have to sieve just a little bit more. Which is understandable. <laughs> just a little bit more. Let's see. All we need is... I mean, pretty much a stack would get you eight. That's all I need right now. So there we go. That's all done. Let's grab this extra one that's down here. 13. I'll just hand place all this. Same with that. And that'll get us all the dust. You can sieve it. And that gave us the extra bone mill that we needed. That should be plenty. Now, let's go back and we'll take our clay. Um, I don't think there's anything in here waiting for this, is it? Okay, we need to make a stone barrel. We'll do that here in just a second. I, I was processing some stone. Let's take this. Put that in there. We'll take some cobblestone. We're going to get some stone processed. Just like that. That's being worked on. Um, and right now, what we need to do... Take our clay. Combine eight clay. With bone mill, we'll get porcelain. We're going to take that porcelain, and we're going to get ourselves a unfired crucible. How cool is that? So, we have an unfired crucible. To use this properly, at this point, the best thing we can do is place it above our current lava source. That will make this the fastest lava generation. What we're going to do is plop in four pieces of cobblestone, but not yet. If you notice it doesn't work, well... It's because you have to cook it. You have to cook it in your smeltery first. Let's take this out. Let's get one more stone. And then we'll throw this in. All right, let's throw that in there. Um, now, to make a stone barrel. We're going to need a slab and six stone, which we don't have yet, but we'll get. We'll wait for that. There we go. That is officially done. We need three more stone cooked up. Um, right now, we can't actually complete anything until that's done. The quest that it's wanting is an actual fired crucible, so we're good there. As you can see, we're working our way towards the transmutation table. Yeah, we are getting there. We are going to get it very soon. We're literally just waiting on stone. That's all we're waiting for. Um, I don't want to put this on the fire yet. Let's go ahead and pop that off. Five. Waiting for the last one that we can actually make the, the thing that we're actually going to need. For this. There we go. So there's our six. That should allow us to make a stone barrel. And we can now complete some quests. Stone barrel, that'll give us four dirt. Right? Then a crucible, that'll give us 25 cents. Now we can actually use our crucible. Place it above your lava source. You can see the rate is times three now. And this is where we're going to fill it with some cobblestone. Now, if we keep this full, this should convert it into, I think, four cobblestone equals one bucket of lava. And you can see it will start producing lava for us. Now, it's just a waiting game. Um, but we can go ahead and set the barrel up. So, right here, where's a good place to set this up? Hmm. I mean, I guess over here would be fine. Right here, maybe? That's going to have to work for now. Um, let's get some slabs. We'll use the remaining slabs that we have here, which I think will work perfect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little bit of a slab housing for it. Put that there, that on top. And we can do this. And I'm just going to break this extra piece. 
And that's going to hold water for us. All that's going to do is hold water. And to get obsidian, you need to take a bucket, fill it up with water. Place water on top. Not there. That's a bad spot to place it. All right, that all went there. Place it on the top section. There we go. Now when we place a bucket of lava inside the stone barrel, it's going to give us obsidian. Um, and that's exactly what we're going to need. Is some good old-fashioned obsidian. Um, and we're pretty much waiting. Right now we have a half a bucket of lava stored in here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until I get uh, a bucket in there and I'll be right back. So I've been waiting for a little while and I've, I've gathered up some gravel. I haven't sieved anything yet, even though I probably should have, while doing that, I should have just started sieving a little bit of gravel. But uh, I do have some at this point, but you can see, let's take a look here on the uses of this. It doesn't allow you to sieve on these specific, on this specific mesh. You can't do it. Um, but if you take this down to, let's say, sand. I think sand. Take a look at this real quick. You can see sand gives you cocoa beans. Um, very slim chance, technically. And if you go even further to dust, of course, you get bone mill and things like that. So um, that is something you can do. But you can't do it with this, this particular mesh. Now, dirt... On the other hand, dirt can be sieved, and it gives you all kinds of stuff, such as silverwood saplings, braidwood saplings, like all these different types of uh, farms, which we'll get into very soon. But we do have our lava ready, so four buckets is technically all we need. Let's take that, and I, like I said, you need to have a water source directly above your stone barrel. And whenever you place that in there, as you can see, it turns it into obsidian and you actually don't have to mine it you just right click and you get obsidian it's literally that easy and you just repeat this all you need is a full crucible of lava and you have a transmutation table it's that simple and this transmutation table is going to be phenomenal early on it kind of makes this game it's what kind of sets the tone of this whole pack once you get this thing. So what we're going to do is use the Philosopher's Stone. I think we need some stone cooked up. And you see right here the transmutation table. It requires four pieces of stone, four obsidian, and the Philosopher's Stone. It will not consume the Philosopher's Stone, so we don't have to worry about that. But you can see right now we're just waiting on stone. That's about it, right? And I think we can even use... can we use the Philosopher's Stone... No, it only changes things in-game, which is kind of sad, because technically this would change, like, cobblestone into stone. So we place that down, you can see it'll actually change it into smooth stone, but we can't use the smooth stone uh, right yet. It just won't work that way. I wonder if this hammer can actually, it doesn't show, oh, you can't actually use a hammer on stone in this pack. That's weird. Normally, that allows you to do that. So, we have four. That's going to give us the transmutation table. And away we go with that. Guys, that's awesome. Let's take a look at this. Um, so, we have this, the transmutation table. It says it requires the crucible to be completed. Does not consume the item, so let's go ahead and complete that. We get a $20 bill, the salt, marble, and we get a loot crate. How nice is that? So, let's place down our transmutation table for the first time. We'll place it down right here. This thing is, if you've never used it before, I'm going to try and do my best to explain it to you guys. So, say you have an item. This item says it supports one EMC. It is worth one EMC. So, consider this thing, in the terms of currency, cons consider it we're trading items with these, this tablet. So, I have this basalt and I have this marble. They're both equal on EMC. So I can say, all right, I'm going to throw this in here. By the way, you take it and you place it inside this slot here. I can go, all right, I want to trade one marble for basalt. You can see currently stored in the tablet because I place this in here. Technically, it's burning the item. It's, it's throwing it inside the, the tablet and replacing it with EMC. But it also learns the recipe. 
um, you can see here, one EMC. If I put this in here, it'll give us two EMC. Now I can go, all right, I want one marble. That's going to remove an EMC. And it's going to go vice versa. If I want basalt, one EMC. If I want two basalt, I can now take two basalt. But do you see, I have zero EMC. Put them back in there, I can say, all right, I want two marble. And that's how EMC works. Now let me go over how a few things uh, work here in this tablet. So if you throw these items here that are actually worth um, some EMC, you can see it actually learns the recipe. But you don't have to burn the item in order to learn the recipe. But I mean, it's technically like a storage. You can actually throw it over here, and that will also learn the recipe without consuming the item. You can see the item is down here. That's what this site's for. It's for learning items. And also you can use it as a storage, sort of a nice little storage here. It holds a few different items. What, four, eight, eight items total? Um, so if we burn this item, that's fine. But if we want to see everything that is equivalent in EMC value, so say iron. Let's see, is there anything equivalent to iron or less? This, if you put this in here, it'll show you everything equivalent or less of value to this iron if you place it in the center slot, right? And you can't really place it in these side slots because you're gonna see later on other items are gonna start populating those side slots. But the center one will show you um, every item that is equivalent and it will also learn the item if you put it in that slot. So say gold. If I wanna learn the, learn the item, I can place it in here and I will learn it and it will show me every item in here that is equivalent or less I do believe, or maybe it's just equivalent. I think it's just equivalent. And you can see there isn't anything in here worth 2000 EMC, right? So let's throw this all in here, which is really nice. And also we have a $20 bill now that we can store down here. Now you have 2531 in our wallet. But let's take a look. Let's go ahead and throw some stuff in here. Basically our chests are almost useless at this point, but we have tons of items here. Um, our Philosopher's Stone is something that I want to learn. We can pull that back out though. Um, slimy Tool Rods does not have an EMC value, so you can't throw it in there. But anything with an EMC value can be thrown in here. This is 3,000. Apples um, are, if, if anything has durability loss on it, it can still be thrown in here, but it'll retain full durability. Be careful if you throw anything with enchantments in here, it will not retain the enchantment. Um, and then Diamonds, this is a lot of EMC just sitting there. You also see right here, EMC, it shows us the, the value of the current item, and then it shows you how much EMC the actual base, the whole stack is worth. So you see here, 60,000 EMC. Look at that, we already have 147,000 EMC. And this is 65,000 EMC. We're at 200 EMC, look, just, just in that short period of time. Some items, as, as I said before, they can't actually go in here. So we can throw all of our string, we can throw melon seeds, pumpkin seeds, chests, Anything in here, diamond hammer, we can throw that in there. We can pull out a brand new one later. And the way the EMC works for the hammers, if they have any durability loss, it's gonna consume EMC. So the durability will reduce the amount of EMC that this, this material, that this hammer is worth. So you can see there, we can now take it out. So if I want gravel, I can now take out gravel. I can hammer it, right? Did that just disappear on me? <laughs> oh, there it goes. And we get sand. And then I can learn the sand. So now sand will be in here. And I can take the sand and I can smash it and get dust. And now we can learn dust. And these are all equivalent in EMC. So sand, we take this, we can put that in here. We can see that everything that's equivalent to this. So we see sand is equivalent uh, dust is equivalent, cobblestone is equivalent. Um, let's take a look at gravel. Let's pull that out. Gravel is 4 EMC. So if you take a look at cobblestone, cobblestone is 1 EMC, gravel is 4 EMC. So just remember that when working with this. If you were to break this as cobblestone, you won't get as much EMC. Let's uh, go ahead and I'll use my my pick here, and I'll demonstrate this. If we break this, this is only worth two EMC, whereas this is worth uh, eight EMC. So technically, you're you're quadrupling the amount of EMC that you can get if you use a hammer on your cobblestone generator. Now you don't have to stick with this method. 
there's easier ways to obtain EMC in this pack. So just keep that in mind. Anything diamond related will definitely gain you EMC. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool system on how it works. Uh, even buckets. So if we take this bucket here, and let's say we now have a bucket of lava. Well, we can learn that. Now we can actually pull out a bucket of lava. And you can see the bucket is worth 768 uh, EMC. A bucket of lava is 832. So the, the lava value that's inside the bucket is worth a lot less than the bucket. So technically you can pull out tons of these lava buckets, have a bunch of lava, and then put the buckets back in, and you didn't lose very much EMC. Works the same for water. Water bucket is the same thing. Throw that in there. Now we've learned a water bucket. How cool is that? And I mean, it's just it's just as simple as that. Um, let's take our water egg. We don't need this water egg, but this is technically how you'd get it. Um, you get it from this chicken, and that's how you'd start your first cobblestone generator. Is with this uh, this water chicken egg. Um, there's nothing really that I need this for, and it's not EMCable, but I can go ahead and place it down and show you what it does. I do need to pick this chicken up because right now he's not really useful, but he will be useful later. And that's where a roost can come in handy. Um, if we get a feather later on, we can actually get this thing up and running. Right now, I don't think we have a feather, but we do have a legendary loot chest. What do we get from this bad boy? So we got two iridium chickens. That is pretty good, actually. I'm going to save those, and we can store them for, for later, really. We feel like it. Um, by the way, if you want to place items on the wall like such... You hold the item in your hand. I know I've gotten a lot of questions about this. You can hold the item in your hand and hit P, and it will place that item on the wall, on any surface, even on the ground. You want to place it on the ground? Just hit P, and it will place it on the ground, like even on the bed. Doesn't care where you're placing the item. If I want to place it here, bam, there it is. I mean, it's just, a, it's just an item on the ground. Depending on which way you're facing, it doesn't matter, it looks like on the way you're facing, but that's how you place items on the ground. That comes from Draconic Evolution, in case you guys didn't know that. Um, anyways, moving on. We have a pasture seed. We can't use that yet, so we still need at least a chest staying here. But yeah, right now we have, I guess, we just need to follow our quest and kind of move on from this point. We now have a infinite storage system, basically, for most items. Uh, let's take a look at our quest guide. So this thing is saying we can make flint stiffen mesh, iron stiffen mesh, and diamond stiffen mesh. And we need to make all of those. So that is not that difficult because now we have access to iron. So let's make a mesh, or we can actually take the mesh from over here, and we can learn this mesh. See that? And we can take this mesh and we should be able to craft with it. Let's do this. Oh. I think the recipe for this is totally different. We need flint first. Oh, that's right. We need gravel. So, gravel. We can pull out a stack. By the way, this is 256 EMC for this stack. And if we make gravel, or we make a flint using this whole stack, remember 256, remember that number. We'll get 84 here. So, it does kind of reduce down... Um, but we now have access to flint. And our whole stack is worth 84. Let's go ahead and learn that. So now we've learned flint. And we're going to make ourselves our first flint mesh. And we can learn that one as well. Let's make our flint mesh. There we go. We'll learn that mesh. So now we can actually pull out flint stiffen mesh, which is really handy, by the way. Then we can make iron stiffen mesh. We can learn that one. And then we need some diamonds. Take out six diamonds. And we can learn this mesh. And there we go. We now have each one. Now, I don't think we have to consume. Does it? It just says requires mesh. Does not consume item. So, we can learn the diamond. That'll give us another loot chest. Let's place this one back in. We'll take out an iron. We'll complete the iron mesh. We'll take some more money. And <laughs> we'll also get another loot chest. And flint. 
And that will get us each one of these quests completed. And then let's open up our loot crate and see what we got. Wow, we got 64k ME fluid storage cells. Kind of okay. Oh, and we also got ourselves a controller from refined storage, which is nice. And we got an experience solidifier. I don't know if this actually works on my own experience, does it? Oh, I guess I don't have any experience, so that makes sense. I technically only have very little experience, but yes, I think this will solidify my own experience, which is actually really nice. Um, but you do notice a lot of stuff from Actually Editions actually isn't EMCable. That's good, though. This is 11,000 EMC, and these are massive amounts of EMC. We already have a million EMC. That's how ridiculous this <laughs> this pack can be. Oh, man. Those, those fluid storage drives are actually really nice. That is a lot of early game EMC. All right, so $1, $5, $10, and $20. Eventually, we'll have the hundos in there, and then you see we have a slot for $0.05. Cents. Very nice. Very nice. I can't believe we already have a million EMC stored in here. That is absolutely crazy. All right, <laughs> so now that we all have all that done, oh, I forgot the water egg. I should have used the water egg and consumed my quest for it. Ah, I guess I'll have to wait till this guy eight minutes from now produces another egg. Anyways, a fishing rod. Um, we need sixteen fish. Technically, we can do this now. Let's get uh, let's get a fishing rod. We need string, and we need sticks, and we can make ourselves our first fishing pole. Now, don't forget to EMC this. Anything you get, by the way, you want to make sure that you use EMC to retain it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sit here and we're going to fish. Yeah, we're going to fish. And, it, it, you know, this is a small thing, but all you need is one fish and you can make 16 of them. And then you get yourself an auto fisher, which is actually really nice because once you get that auto fisher made... Let's actually pull this. I don't think... Uh, it's working like it's supposed to. We should see some bubble particles. That I'm not seeing, actually. Come on. Work. We need three deep or something like that? We're in a three deep spot. I've done this fishing several times. But anyways. As we're waiting for fish to spawn. Um, yeah, we only need 16. Shows us right here. We need 16 fish. We get ourselves a fishing net from Actually Editions. That's kind of an expensive item. And we'll basically collect the fish for us. Oh, there's a fish. And did we get anything? Nope, we just got experience. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything, which is kind of sad. But yes, we will get something eventually. I do see the water uh, stuff is actually working. Ah, there we go. So we ended up getting a puffer fish. That's not exactly what we need. We need one more thing. Please give me the one fish that I absolutely need. Oh, man. By the way, you could probably set up a really good fishing farm. That would probably work very good for EMC in this pack. That's what we needed. Let's go ahead and take the raw fish. And we just need 16 of them. And we can complete this quest. And we'll get an auto fishing net. There we go. All right, so let's take this raw fish. We get that and 25 cents. And the way this works, I want to show you the fishing net real quick in case you haven't seen it. Let's take some cobblestone and some chests. It's really clunky, I think. One of the weirdest and clunkiest fishing, auto fishing things you can make, but it does get the job done. Let's go ahead and place that there. And you can break the blocks underneath it. Now you need to place a chest on top of that. And this will import into this chest, or if you leave no chest, it'll throw the items on the ground. We definitely want to put a chest on top, so that way the items aren't just going thrown into the, the air. Um, but over time, this thing will generate fish. And we just throw that all in there. And look at that. It's another way to generate some more EMC. But uh, very simple. Very simple to, to, today, guys. We end up getting ourselves our our transmutation tablet. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, 
don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.